Hello, in this video I will demonstrate new macro which has been added to CodeStack library, allowing to export flat patterns from all sheet metal components of an active assembly. I will be using this assembly for my demo, it has multiple components, which most of them are sheet metal parts. Let's now go to CodeStack.net and download the macro to export flat patterns from the components. We need to go to Goodies, Assembly Categories, and find Export Flat Patterns from Assembly Components macro. You can read the instructions of how to set up this macro. For now, I'm just going to copy the code, activate SolidWorks, create new macro, specify some name, and paste the code. I can specify the options to export my flat patterns. So, for example, in this case, I want to export bend lines, geometry, and also the bounding box. So I'm just going to modify the value of the constant for the corresponding option. We can now run our macro and it will process all the components from this assembly and export that to DXF or DWG depending on the settings. As I have specified the relative path for my naming template, the macro will save DXF files next to the assembly folder. So let me open the folder, there is a DXF subfolder and here is my results. Let's open some files. So you can see it contains band lines and it also contains a bounding box. Macro is quite flexible, so you can use placeholders and free text to specify the naming template for a path of your output file. You can also specify subfolders hierarchy if you need to. Let me open that file and there is a custom properties in my cut list called sheet metal thickness. So let me now change the setting of my macro to output and group my files by thickness. I'm also going to use an absolute path instead of the relative path. I'm just going to specify D output as my output directory, and I'm just going to use sheet metal thickness as a subdirectory name. I want to name my DXF files after the part file name, and I'm also going to use DWG instead of DXF in this example. I will simplify the options and only export geometry. Let's run the macro. Note the macro will automatically correct directories if necessary. So you can see that now I have two directories, one and one and a half, which corresponds to my sheet metal with a thickness one and one and a half millimeters. And you can see the files are dynamically generated into that folder. We can now open a couple of files to validate the result. And as you can see, now my DWG do not contain band lines or bounding box. Thank you for watching this video.